slurring down to D or G and getting an overtone. John posted, my son and I both have Mark VI alto saxophones. Although we recently had my son's horn repaired, we were having some problems with it when playing from a C with the octave key to D with the octave key. It means no difference whether or not you tongue or don't tongue. The D will sound a harmonic that sounds like a note between an A and a B. It will transition from high C to low D just fine. My son has a piece of music that has the sequence of notes several times that he is going to use for an audition. I have had it checked for leaks without and haven't found any. I have also cleaned the octave vents in both the neck and the body of the sax. Have you ever heard of this before? Do you have any idea what is causing this? What would you suggest to correct the problem? My response is, it sounds like a typical embouchure and or fingering problem. It is very natural to get the overtone of an A while playing a middle D. So if you're slurring down to D from an A, getting the same note as compared to First, you must make sure that all of your fingers are going down at the same time when going down to the D. Also, you have to be voiced correctly inside the mouth with the tongue. Slur from the high C down to the middle D very slowly and feel what you have to do to get the D to speak correctly. Slowly speed the slur tempo up and make the correct voicing adjustments. Voicing does not mean dropping the jaw. It's all inside, inside the mouth. This can also happen when slurring down to G from a palm D. The natural overtone of the G is the palm D. One must be perfectly voiced to get these slurs to happen naturally without getting the overtone. Okay, so high D down to G, getting the overtone. So once again, I have to be perfectly voiced inside the embouchure to get that G to speak and not get the overtone. along with my fingers going perfectly at the same time.